Hey, what's up guys? So as we've been going up in weight and uh, getting up toward 100 and past 100, the handheld scales, even though we found a couple good ones, they've started to cap out and uh, get a little frustrating because a lot of them have a hold feature and it can, you know, get a little tough when you're holding it full draw at that weight. So, in an effort to remedy that issue, I've been working on some bow scale prototypes. After a couple failed attempts, I think I have one that I'm pretty happy with. So I thought I would demo it for you guys and then go over the build a little bit, just in case anyone's interested. So as you can see, it can deal with plenty of weight. So, what I have here is a plank. It's about 8 feet long, about 1 foot across, and about 4 inches deep. I actually couldn't find a solid plank, so what I did is I used some heavy duty 5 8 inch hex bolts to attach them together. But you want something that's deep enough to really support this kind of weight. So once you got your solid plank going, I have here my bow, bow stabilizer. Now these are also 5 eighths of an inch, but they're long. They go all the way through the plank. And what I've done is wrap them in foam so it doesn't damage the bow. And I've added these caps, you know, just in a crazy situation where the bow jumps up or something, it would stop it. So what I have here is a ratchet strap connected just fairly tightly to a cinder block just to provide a counterweight to the winch back there. Not sure it's really necessary because the blank is pretty heavy. This is pine, by the way, but I just want it to be on the safe side there. If you do have two planks like this, I recommend uh, using a ratchet strap when, when drilling through both to connect them just because you want to make sure those holes stay lined up really well. I just have little footstools underneath the whole rig just to raise it up a little bit. So the magic really comes in here with the winch. This is a hand winch and uh, what this does is it can lock in in both directions but the gears provide a really easy pull so there's there's barely any brute strength involved and even if the handle get away gets away from you the weight is supported to the extent that it wouldn't even really violently spin so there's you know very little chance for an accident so when you mount the winch what I've done is I've centered the strap and what you need to do is make sure these aren't too far apart. You should take a look at all your bow grips and kind of measure them. I made it only wide enough so it would fit, you know, the smallest grip on one of my bows. Uh, and, you know, it'll still support the rest. And then what you have is a nice little tape measure here, which you can adjust while the bow is drawn. So if you want to measure from the back of the bow, you just adjust it to there. You can even take that out and put your arrow along the center too. If you have a tactile anchor in the front, you can just line it right up with your uh, knock. So the winch has a really heavy duty hook. What I'm using here is a uh, digital crane heavy load type scale. So all this stuff is way overrated basically for this, uh, the kind of weight that you know I'm pulling, even, even if it was a 200 pound bow. Because, uh, you know, you really kind of just want to go overboard uh, with safety. So what I did is I used a bow scale to measure the very center of the string. I lined it up with the grip. Just have these two pieces of tape here just to align the hook. And then you get your winch centered. Then you just kind of have to use a circular saw just to guide off enough for the handle to move freely. Then once you're done, all you do 
just switch the lock down to a down position. And just lets down nice and slow. Very little risk to you or the bow. The bow is far away from you in case anything happens. It snaps. You won't be in danger. So I hope I hope that's helpful. Um, it was a fun experience to mess with different different builds. I like the fact that this is horizontal. You can just sit alongside it. Uh, like I said, it's you know it's it's safe, not too complicated to build. I, I think the whole thing, including the winch and the scale, you could build this for you know I would say hundred to hundred fifty dollars for the whole thing. All right, guys, so if you have any questions, just let me know, and happy shooting.